Hey guys, hope you're doing alright. Thanks for your support. Please like and subscribe, share and comment. All your interaction makes a difference. So, welcome to vlog number three. As you can see, I've decorated a little bit. I've got Satchmo over here, Louis Armstrong. That's a picture from the Jazz Festival from the year 2000. I just wanted to let you know what I've put up here. I've got all these notes on the side uh, from all around the world. This uh, picture of uh, myself and Kenny Wayne Blues Boss. You can see the interview with him up in the information. Behind me, this picture. I've got a video of that, of the painting of that, that's pa painted with spray paint. And I get to my picture here, the owl, which I painted myself. Uh, you can see the pictures of those on Instagram, uh, my process of doing that. Um, I've been trying to keep busy. I've been doing some tiny little origami, which you can see here, and then in some video here, here, here. Who knows where? Video's coming. <laughs> These two comics are from the Beano and the Dandy. I made them myself. I grew up with the Beano and the Dandy, and these ones actually are a little bit old, but don't worry, they were damaged. That's why I chose those two specific ones. Uh, you can see the dates on them, that it's from uh, 92 and from 88. I know that seems a little sad, but they're not my oldest ones, and they're a bit damaged. So first off, just so you're not worrying, I wanted to show you some of my old school comics. So it's the... So now we get to the older ones. So I grew up with Beano and Dandy comics, and I, I love comic books. As you can see from my things to do in the quarantine video, also up in the cards, that video has a lot of superhero inspired things. And so I love comic books and love superheroes, and I was thinking of maybe doing a series. If you guys have any ideas on, on the titles for what I should call my comic book show, that would be really helpful. So, the two that I wanted to show you today, apart from all those other ones, is Spider-Man 2099. So this one is not one of my favourite comic books, if I'm honest. I really like ones with uh, different universes and different versions of superheroes. That's why I bought this one. This one, unfortunately, didn't capture me with the story. And for the one that I'm very excited about, it's uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Dust to Dust. As you can see, it's written by Philip K. Dick. So this is a prequel to to Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. This is a brilliant comic book, and it's the only one I've read of the series, so that's the next ones that I want to find. I want to try and find every book of these, of Philip K. Dick. I didn't know that he had graphic novels, um, but once I found this and read it, I was hooked. So, if you're thinking of something to read, I recommend that. Now lastly, I wanted to talk about how I did my video, Izzy Wiz. All these ones, as filmed with the camera in the same place, except for him in that bubble there. What happened there is that I felt like I needed some more, um, some more percussion, but I had already moved the camera and I tried to put it back into the same spot, but I, could, I couldn't get it in the exact same spot. That's why those two down there in bubbles are not, you know, they're filmed from me in the same place, but it's not got the correct background behind it, not exactly. Also, the side of the camera is smudged just because I hadn't cleaned the lens, so unfortunately, the dude over here in the corner is a little bit fuzzy and out of focus, here, as it looks like. So I'm not a drummer, and I did struggle with the beat. That's why it's so badly edited like that. I'll prep this for the next time, and there are more on the way. Next one is a fully original song, and this one, difficult to call it, you know, original. I only wrote two lines of it. 
But so like there you can see as well the chair moves. That's why there's that bubble there. But so here you see the whole clip of what it looks like. So I filmed it one after the other. So first I filmed my guitar, just the guitar, with the uh, with the metronome on my ear, so it was the right time. I um, recorded myself on my phone and on the camera here and the test cam, my audio. So I uh, recorded the guitar. Um, sorry, I was getting into the groove there. <laughs> yeah, so I just recorded the guitar on its own with the metronome, but I recorded it on my phone on the camera and on the audio. So the camera and the audio, that's just so I can have good quality sound with uh, this quality picture. And the microphone on this is not as good at all as this one. So then I played everything else along to, you know, then I would play the recording of my guitar, which is just the da, 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 da. You know, so I played just that on its own with, uh, So then I played along with uh, with the tune. Everything else is is around there, um, and that's how it happened. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there is more to come. Next will be an original track, as I said. Um, it's called My Name Is DJ. As I said before, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, I've got some news coming about Artflix, but I've got to wait and see for that. So, looking forward to getting back to you. Thanks a lot. Peace and love. Over and out.